This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah. Hey y'all, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new products from Kiara Sky. It's actually the all-in-one dip powders that I tried out before, but they weren't out yet, but they are out now. And I have way more colors, so I'm gonna be doing a design with that. I know you guys have seen my little setup here. Oh, I just love how everything is coming along. I finally got my YouTube plaque set up and yes. I haven't really got a chance to enjoy the 1 million plaque because it's been in a box this whole time. But I finally hung it up last night along with my silver play button. And of course, this all wouldn't be possible without you guys. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your support. It really does mean a lot, okay? <laughs> so let's get to these nails. So like I stated, the Kiara Sky All-in-One Dip Powders are out now and they have a wide range of colors. And if you guys didn't check out my video on these, these are all-in-one powders. They can be used as dip powder or you can use them with monomer. So that is really cool. Sorry about all the noise, but hubby is out here doing some yard work, so yeah. <laughs> So I'm thinking more of a purpley, kind of bluey, pink ombre, I don't know. So I'm just gonna grab some colors here. I like this blue, and I'm gonna need a nail bed color. And you know, why not? Throw some glitter in there. All right, so I think these are the colors that I'm gonna use, so let's go ahead and get some swatches. So I'll be using the new Kiara Sky Monomer. I think it is so cool that they do have Monomer now. So now you can get pretty much everything you need on one site. So I'm just gonna put some of the Monomer into my dampen dish and get my brush ready. So this color is called Pool Party. This color here is Power Move. And then we have Ultraviolet. And this color here is Etiquette First. So these powders do pretty well with the monomer. I mean, it's just like regular acrylic. So these are my natural nails. As you guys know from previous video that I am growing out my left hand. So I won't be cutting them this time. I'm just gonna do my prep as always. So I'm, I'm gonna push back my cuticles. and then use the opposite end of the cuticle pusher to scrape up any of that dead skin. And then taking my e-file and cuticle cleaner bit, I'm just gonna work this around my cuticle areas just to further get up any of that dead skin on my nail plate. So after doing all of the cuticle prep for my nails, I'm just gonna take my hand file and lightly shape my nails. I'm not taking off any length, I'm just smoothing out the edges. So for this look, I'm gonna be using my all-time favorite nail tips. These are the BU Long Stiletto Nail Tips. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I love these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out my sizes. And then I'm using the Kiss Brush on Nail Glue to apply these. And I'm just gonna place them right where my natural smile line is to kind of cover up my natural nail. So after holding that in place for about 10 seconds, this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna do that for all of the nails. So this is after applying all of the tips and I'm just gonna use my scissors to trim off the excess length and do my shaping. And also take the shine away from the nail tip and blend it in with my natural nail. So this is after the nail tips have been filed and shaped. And I'm gonna go in with that ultraviolet powder and I'm gonna use this as a dip powder. So I'll be using the Kiara Sky dip powder system. And I'm gonna start off with the Bond, which is a nail dehydrator. It's gonna get rid of all the oils and prep your nail for application. Next, I'm gonna go in with step two, which is the base. And I'm just putting a strip of that down the center of my nail, dipping that into the powder, tapping off the excess. And I wait about five seconds and then I brush off the rest of the excess. And then I'm just gonna repeat that over and over again, slowly working my way back to the cuticle area. And what this is gonna do is just make sure this nail isn't gonna be super flat. It's gonna have a nice apex and nice curve to it. 
I must say Kiara Sky is one of my favorite dip powder systems because the dip powder is finely milled so you really can't see like the grains in it. Um, there has been some dip powders that I've used that have been kind of chunky powders and you kind of can see the crystallization and, and just it doesn't look really good so but Kiara Sky dip powders they look really really good after you're done and you know filing and doing all that stuff you can barely tell that it's dip powder so that's what I like about their system now it is a little more pricier than some of the kits that you may see on Amazon but you really do get what you pay for So after doing that final coat, as you guys can see, this nail has built up pretty well. So I'm gonna repeat the dip process for my middle finger and my thumbnail. And I just wanna mention that my nails are longer, so yes, I do a lot of coats. <laughs> you know, you have to, if they're longer, they're gonna be more coats, it's gonna be a thicker nail. And yeah, that's just the way physics of nails work. <laughs> So after doing all of the dip nails, I'm gonna go in with step three, which is the seal protect. This is the activator that dries the glue or the base. And it's just gonna make sure that the nail hardens up and I'm able to file and shape it. So while I'm letting that seal protect sit, I'm gonna do the regular acrylic application on my ring fingernail and my index fingernail. So I'm gonna go in with my usual Mia Secret nail prep. and primer. So for this nail, I wanted to do a ombre. So I'm gonna start off with that blue acrylic at the tip. And as you guys can see, I'm not really having an issue with using this with the monomer. Sometimes when I use dip powder with monomer, it can be very runny, but somehow they formulated this stuff really well. So I can't even tell that it's a dip powder. So when I do my ombres, you know, I'm not the best at it, but I like to go back and forth between the two colors to kind of get that blend as perfect as I can get it. And I'm working very thin, so this nail isn't gonna be thick. So after blending that purple and blue, I went in with a pink color because I thought I was gonna need it for the transition between the nail bed color and the purple, but I really didn't need that. But anyway, I'm going in with the nail bed color, which is that etiquette first, and I'm just gonna blend that to the best that I can do it. Kinda working a little fast because it's acrylic, so you don't have all the time in the world to play with it. And then I go back in with some purple just to kind of get that blend between the beige and the purple right. So after I'm happy with the ombre, I'm gonna go in with the clear all-in-one dip powder and this beautiful glitter. This glitter is so gorgeous and it's called City Lights. So first I'm just gonna wet the nail with some monomer and then I picked up a bead of clear acrylic and dipped it into the glitter. And that is how I'm picking up the glitter and placing it on the nail. And I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush to push the glitter where I want it to be. So 
So once I like that glitter placement, I go ahead and let that dry for about a minute and then I'm just gonna encapsulate the nail with that clear all-in-one powder. And I am shocked because I wasn't expecting this to be a like ultra clear, clear powder and it really is. So this is after all of the acrylic is laid and dry. So now I'm gonna go in with my shaping and filing. And as you guys know, I like to do majority of my filing with the hand file. And then I go in with my e-file and safety bit around the cuticle areas to smooth that out. So this is after the nails have been filed, shaped, and buffed. And next I'm gonna go in with my Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat. I was gonna put some bling on here, but I thought I would overpower the look. So I really like how it looks without bling. I know, I know. <laughs> So as you guys can see, the sun was being very disrespectful. I had to get up and close my curtains because I wanted you guys to see the shine of this glitter. It is just gorgeous. Then I cure that in my nail lamp for 60 seconds. Apply my cuticle oil. And here is the finished look. Ah, oh, these nails turned out so beautiful. And I was able to do this for the fraction of the time it would have taken me to apply all of this with acrylic and monomer. Like you really cannot tell which nails are dip powder and which are regular acrylic. So yeah, Kiara Sky has really did the thing with this formulation. I don't know how they did it, but it definitely works as a dip powder and as regular acrylic. So if you guys are interested, head over to kiarasky.com. I'll leave a link down below to all of the colors that I use. But as you guys can see, they have so many colors available. So I hope this nail tutorial was helpful and I will talk to you in the next one. This is the outro to the long hair pretty nail show, yeah.